Continuing our training on interests, we can be logged in in any role for this piece and we have done interests engagements. This is where you're setting up how you want to engage with value communities and the groups and organizations that you are connected with. There's the usual PDF and video about this. Let's start at the beginning. I am interested in receiving updates about valued communities. This is where valued communities is sending updates to you. This is not the groups and organizations you're connected with. This is us, valued communities, sending updates to you. You opt in to receive. Second one, I'm interested in receiving updates from partners or recognized partners of valued communities. This is where we have agreements in place with certain partner organizations and businesses and they may wish to contact you with information. You opt in to receive. Again, opt in, just tick the boxes. Option three. If you are interested in doing surveys that relate to your interests, whether they be free, whether they be paid, whatever, if you're interested in that, you tick the box and you opt in. You may then be contacted appropriately regards surveys. Now, Option number four, you want to be advised from groups and organizations that you're interested in, but you may not necessarily be connected with. So if you have family and friends in New Zealand, UK and Canada, you may pick those countries and pick the types of organizations that they're interested in as well and you can receive updates and information from those organizations, such as gossip and support fundraising activities and things like that. And when you're ready, save everything. Now, you don't have to set passions and pursuits and countries. It's entirely optional. If you elect to set it, then that information may be used by businesses wishing to advertise to you. I'm not going to pick an Australian example here. Uh, which country haven't we picked in our examples yet? UK. I'm a business in Liverpool, the U England, and I want to advertise to people that are interested in advocacy for animals and the Anglican Church. If you have set animals, advocacy and Anglican in a passion and pursuit, the business will match to that and you will receive adverts from them customized on that basis. They don't get to see the information. They don't know who it is. It's just used in the tailoring of adverts. Then, if you don't want their customization, don't pick the passions and pursuits. It's that simple. And then you click save and you're done. So, two takeaway points. You opt in to receive information. Second point, if you don't want to set a passion and pursuit, and you don't want to receive the targeted ads, fine. Doesn't matter. But if you do set passions and pursuits to receive targeted information from groups and organizations that you're interested in, please just be aware that businesses are matching 
that to their advertising needs, but they're not seeing the information. They're just doing a match. Okay, any questions there? Right.